Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for tomorrow, or today, or the next day, or, you know, the timing is fluid, right? It is, and this reading may or may not be for you. We're just going to see what comes up. Very interesting. The Queen of Swords reversed. Came flying out. Suddenly. So somebody could hear something from somebody. Suddenly that rubs them the wrong way. This person is upset. This person, uh... Oh, she can be hard to deal with. She definitely can be hard to deal with. Um... She's a bitch. <laughs> oh, God. I just heard that song by Meredith Brooks. I'm a bitch. Yes, I am a bitch. But anyhow, that's not, we're not talking about me. But anyhow, um, it's funny because I was going to do a story time after this. Which was interesting, but we'll get back to that. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this reading. Dear God, Angel, Spirits, and Universe. So this woman, she is, uh, well, I think I just told you who she is. So let's just put that down right there. What do we got? Uh, hmm, challenge. Definitely a challenge. This woman is a challenge. So this is an energy of a challenge. Um, somebody may be really worried. They may be really worried about this person. And there's good reason. There is absolutely good reason to be worried about this person. Because this person will stop at nothing to get their desired outcome. So, hmm. Now, this Knight of Wands is perseverance, strength, stamina, and confidence. Somebody that, you know, is very, this person seems to be very defensive. Don't come near me. Don't even try. This is somebody who is very independent. That's interesting. I was debating as to whether I was going to do this story time next. We'll see if I do or not. Anyway, um, this is somebody who's like, don't come near me. Back up. This person is hard to love because she has been hurt so badly. Now, this is um, an energy. It could be male or female. This is somebody who has their guard up, has a barrier up, isn't really looking for anybody, it doesn't appear. Or is definitely hard to love. Definitely hard to, to deal with, period. Now, this person may want rather be alone. Ooh, the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant is about faith and trust. Now, there's a higher power. There's a higher power here with the High Priest. God has a plan. Ooh. The shadow, the shadow side, this is the devil reversed. Now, this is about freedom. It's about taking back control. Restoring control. Taking control away from somebody. Perhaps that's God's plan? Is that God's plan? Okay, well, she's, this one's like ready to fight, as you can see. It looks like we have somebody here that is ready to fight. Okay. Okay. This person is ready to fight. So, we do have somebody here that is ready to fight. It's like they believe this is what they have to do. Maybe their gut has told them, I have, this is what I have to do. I have to. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Now this is this this is the devil card. This is the light being shown because it's reversed. 
So something is going to be shown. It's like you can't hide in the shadow. Something is going to be shown. There's a higher power involved here. Somebody may need to be protected because she's going to protect. Even if she has to do it alone. There's a quote, right? Do what's right even if you're doing it alone. I don't even know what the quote is. I'll have to look it up. But even if you don't have anybody standing behind you, you got to do the right thing. Even if the whole world thinks you're a bitch. Interesting. Hmm. What do we got here for the collective, dear God, angel, spirits, and universe? Oh, it's the end of something. This is the Ten of Swords, so this is there's been a betrayal. That is a betrayal. Somebody's been stabbed, somebody has been hurt. But you notice that owl, it's time for a change. Owls are a symbol of change. And we have a very highly intuitive person here as well that may have received some higher guidance that, you know, it's time for this to end. This is the end. It's the end of a painful situation. Somebody, this could be a crisis. Somebody, uh... It's like I can't I can't lay here anymore. I can't I can't just stay here and do nothing. It's time. It's time. It's time for this to end. Going to put up a fight. Somebody is going to put up a fight. 7 of wands reversed. Somebody may be under attack. Somebody will probably be feeling like they are under attack. Definitely needing to defend and protect. Somebody is feeling the need to defend and protect. Karma. 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 And get that damn thing to focus. Is a bitch. Right? Absolutely. Sometimes, you know, yeah, it's just the way it goes. Anyway, karma is a bitch. So we got we got some uh shit that is about to go down. Don't look pretty at all. So, um, there's there's been some lies there's been some betrayal somebody hasn't been telling the truth and somebody could be pissed somebody could be pissed because of all the deception all the lies all the betrayal somebody is not happy she's not happy <laughs> no mm -mm. and she's gonna fight if somebody is about to fight yikes They've been divinely guided to do so. God is involved or a higher power is involved. There's a higher power involved here. Judgment. Somebody's in for a rude awakening. Judgment reversed. Ooh. King of Cups reversed. So the King of Cups reversed is somebody that is emotionally withdrawn. Doesn't know what love is. Doesn't know how to love. Somebody that is controlling, cold, and detached. And uses emotional blackmail as their tool. This person may have made this person bitter and cold. Well, we got some karma here, thank the Lord. So what's going on here? This is the end of something. It's the end. Somebody's perseverance is about to pay off in some way. The King of Cups is a person that is emotionally withdrawn, doesn't know what love is, doesn't know how to love. We got some karma here. Could be for both people, though. 
because obviously karma is touching them both and it's bad karma oh yikes so we got the king of wands reverse somebody's gonna get angry somebody is going to get angry and they may take impulsive action they may do something impulsively uh, that hurts another person. God, I don't want to hear this kind of shit, please. What the hell is this? Could be de dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody's about to get a rude awakening. That King of Wands is self-centered. King of Wands in reverse. This is somebody that's unrealistic, self-centered, egotistical. Definitely a big ego. We definitely have somebody here who has a big ego. This person is unreasonable. I think we're going to have somebody. Somebody's going to get angry and upset. They may come right out of the darkness. making making a making some sort of entrance somebody is making an entrance now this person may feel like they've been attacked maybe i shouldn't do my story time because that could certainly be the case i probably shouldn't somebody may feel like they are attacked you know We do have somebody here that has been betrayed and left for dead. What the hell is this? Strength. The strength. Strength to let go. Courage. Confidence. Willpower. What goes around comes around. So this is taking back control, victory, finding the confidence to take back control, finding the strength to act with grace and tact. Hmm. This is somebody who does things in a noble manner. This is a leader. This is a warrior. Who has faced, <laughs> already faced a war zone. This person has already faced the war zone. And they've already, they've already won. They've already won. So there's really no need to fight. So we may have somebody here that is going to need to find their strength. This is a card of strength as well. A, find their strength to come out of this darkness. Come out of this mental conflict. Come out of this anger. Come out of this uh, bitch mode. And go in a different direction. So this could be a day where somebody, there's like a shift. Because we go from bitch to grace. Hmm. Kindness. Gentle. Remaining in control of your emotions. Somebody is going to find their strength to remain in control of their emotions. But there's going to be something that happens that may cause somebody to get very angry and upset. And they may overreact at first. And they may want to lash out and be a nasty 
bitch. But I think that there's some sort of divine guidance or help from above that creeps in and gives this person the tools or whatever they need to handle the situation with grace and tact and kindness and remain in control of their emotions. And handling it in that manner will lead to victory and success. Rather than stepping on the thin ice and falling through, it's staying off. It's like, I'm not even going there. Maybe it's better not to tell your story. Right? This is working together. This is teamwork, making compromises. This is uh, collaboration. Planning. Trying to make things work. Trying to get it right. Working hard. We got somebody here that is working hard to make it right. To, to get it right. And it's not easy. It's not easy. I think we have somebody here that has had a bit of chaos in their life and they're trying to make sense of it they've had some ups and downs and they've dealt with some challenges obviously that have nearly killed them but it's like coming out of this dark period coming out of this angry state of grief Because grieving is what makes a person angry. And replacing that fear. It's like having faith in God. Having faith that there's a higher plan. Holding on. Not losing control. So I feel like we have somebody here that is... Finding, it's like, fi not finding, they're using their abilities to master their emotions to hold themselves back and keep moving forward, progressing, progressing forward towards uh, victory, right? It's like they're being recognized for their or, rec or they are recognizing themselves. They're recognizing the strength that they have gained. They're recognizing that the trials that they have been through has built their character. It's like, it's weird. We go from somebody that gets really, really, really upset over some sort of lie that is said. Because it, this is judgment reverse. So somebody may, t you know, lie or not tell the truth or you know they have a memory even because the, the judgment can be a, a past okay they could get upset about their past they could be have this you know hate over their past from this person or this person that betrayed them that hurt them you know somebody this part of the grieving process is anger okay anger and hate and whatnot and that can cause you to react foolishly and do stupid things. So anyway, I think that somebody may hear something or they may get this feeling. They may get this memory or something that, this recall, right, that, that hurts them. And they may want to lash out. And I feel like they, they find their strength to just not do so. So, so good luck. I hope, this, I hope that's what happens. I thank you, God. That's all I can say. This is, yeah. <laughs> it's all about grace. It's all about tact. It's about mastering your emotions. Mastering your emotions will lead you to victory and success. You will gain. These are both cards of respect. 
you will gain more respect by <laughs> mastering your emotions and staying in control. So my advice is to be careful with how you react to a situation that is going to happen in the near future. Something you're, this is be careful. There's consequences. This is a card of consequences. Be careful with your choices because there's consequences. So what I feel like is though is something is going to happen that is going to make somebody very angry and upset. Could have to do with a male or a female, whatever. Somebody is going to get very angry and upset. And, and you have the choice. You have a choice. You're going to be presented with a choice on how you can react. Choose wisely. Because there will be consequences for your reaction. Be prepared with this judgment card. Make sure you're making the right judgment call. Because remember, karma never loses an address. How you react, what you reap is what you sow. Maybe forgiveness is needed. Somebody has been unable to forgive. I think there's a secret that is about to be revealed and it's going to hurt. It's going to cut like a knife. And your reaction... There's going to be consequences, whether there's good consequences or bad con consequences. Be careful and choose your words and your actions very wisely. Good luck.